Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try something slightly different. We're still taking the percentage of a number, but notice these numbers are very big numbers with lots of zeros, which lends itself to a slightly different technique. The word of still, still means multiplication, therefore this can be written as 12% times 1500. And the next step is still the same, because now we're going to change the 12% to a decimal, by moving the decimal place over two spots. This can now be written as 0 0.12 times 1500. But now we take a look at this and realize that if I multiply this number times 100 and divide this number times 100, the problem becomes a lot easier. What I mean is, by multiplying this number times 100, I move the decimal place over two spots that way, and by dividing this by 100, I move the decimal spot over two places that way. If I move if I multiply this times 100 and divide that by 100, the problem did not change at all. This simply becomes 12 times 15, and 12 times 15 is 10 times 15, which is 150, plus 2 times 15, which is 30, 150 plus 30, 180. Let's try this one here, 125% of 2,000. This can be written as 125% multiply times 2000 because that's what the word of means. I now will change this into a decimal by moving the decimal place over two spots, one, two. This is now equal to 1.25 times 2000. And again, if I multiply this times 100 and divide this by 100, I have a much easier problem on my hands. What I do here is multiply this times 100, I move the decimal place over two spots this way, and here, divide by 100, I move the decimal spot over two places this way, which means this now becomes 125 times 20. Well, 10 times 125 is 1,250, times 2 is 2,500, which means 125% of 2,000 is 2,500. Finally, we come to this one, another example. Again, we can write this as 32% times 400, because that's what the word of means, and now convert this to a decimal. This is equal to, by moving this over two spots, 0 0.32 times 400. And again, I multiply this times 100 by moving the decimal place over two spots this way, divide this by 100 by moving the decimal place over in the opposite direction. Now the problem becomes 32 times 4, which is equal to 100 and 28. And that's how we do problems like that, where we multiply a percent times a big number with lots of zeros, we can actually simplify the problem by using that technique. That's how it's done.